about this a rapunzel this good morning you guys welcome back to my channel it's monday it is thanksgiving week thursday is thanksgiving dropped my son off at school came back i was gonna go to the gym but honestly i'm not in the mood it is 37 degrees outside and i can't be bothered it's cold i need to go to sam's club pick up a few things i'm working tomorrow and then i'm off for the holidays uh yeah i just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog i don't have much up today I'm, I'm gonna cook today for real cook for today and tomorrow so that i can have something to bring to work i'm gonna back my car out in the driveway and just do my thousand jump rope inside of the garage yeah let's go It is the day before Thanksgiving. I guess it's Thanksgiving Eve. No work today, no work tomorrow. Thank God, I am working on Friday. I just took out all my clothes and stuff out of my little bag where we went our little staycation because I don't understand why I had that bag just sitting in the corner of my closet. Not never come out. I need to go pick up a few things for tomorrow's dinner. And I'm waiting for my sister to get off work because I'm gonna go to her house we do this every year it is our ritual we eat sushi we prep the food and drink wine and be merry that's what the day is going to be looking like i'm really getting over all of these fall decor as well in my house so i need to start prepping to pull out the christmas tree that's what i'm going to do i'm probably going to have husband pull up the christmas tree for me and just set it up in the corner and on before i decorate it and just start pulling some of the fall stuff out. All right, I'll see you all in a minute. Good morning. What is up you guys? Listen, I just went to Aldi and Meyer. I started, I think I started vlogging in Aldi and I was just trying to hurry up because it's cold outside. I am tired, but I can't lay in the bed all day. I worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I got my behind handed to me, okay? Friday was a mess. Friday was the day after Thanksgiving. Hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. And it was super busy. I thought it was going to be slow. We saw over 30 patients that day. Saturday wasn't so busy it slowed up but yesterday baby yesterday was a mess and you know how nobody wants to wait it was only one medical assistant and myself working yesterday because the other medical assistant actually tested positive for covid right when we started working in the morning so you know we're doing our best people still upset and saying well one lady says she's calling corporate <laughs> I don't understand folks. They're mad about their copay and they have they, 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 my copay is too high. Let me tell you how this one lady, I guess she came in and she said, No, my belly a growl. <laughs> Girl, your belly is growling. I need to make some tea. I'm going to make some ginger tea. This lady comes in, right? And she says, is there a doctor here and they tell her they, they told her it's a nurse practitioner the lady checks in her copay was $65 because everybody insurance is different what their copay is she goes $65 to see a nurse practitioner she better know what she's doing okay <laughs> ah! it's her time I go in the room and this this lady is just giving me the hardest time I did what I did I told her what I think the issue was. This is what she says to me. I saw my doctor several months ago and that's what she also said. <laughs> I keep, listen, me say, me need to write one book. I need to write an e-book. All these, these people that's hustling, all this stuff with them are hustling and bustle out here to people. Me need to come hustle and write one ebook for tell all of my stories. Who's going to buy it? 
when I tell you this woman with her out of other self, ma'am, I just thought that was funny. You know, did what I did, send her her medication. Boy, I'm gonna know. I had a um patient that this this guy, he's actually in nursing school. He, came, he brought his daughter. He was the nicest guy. He brought his daughter. I did my thing. I'm talking to him. I don't know what we were saying. And then he, he, he told me that he's in nursing school. And he told me what school he was going to. And him and I was having this long conversation and everything like that. And he had just gotten a job as a nurse extern. And, you know, I was just really giving him some encouraging words. Because even though I'm complaining about nursing, nuff, nuff, nuff. I never discourage people to not be a nurse. Every, every, listen, I just say enter at your own risk, honey, okay? <laughs> it's not rainbows and butterflies. And I refuse to just say it's rainbows and butterflies because it's not. When I worked in the... Jesus, this is going on a tangent. I'm sorry. When I worked in the nursing home setting, I did not deal with a lot of unappreciative, angry, rude patients. You will get it here and there from like family members that are coming to the to the nursing home and things like that. But I was not on that aspect of it. And baby, when I entered the urgent care space, <laughs> the grass is not always green on the other side because this right here, this right here is a no. Okay? My issue with the nursing home was just some of them nurses that was just horrible. CNAs that was just um, horrible and how the patients were being treated. It's a mess. It was a mess. It was heartbroken. It was terrible. And then, you know, nursing home have its own issues. So I had different issues. If, if I went to a nursing home and out of 10 nurses, two of the nurses are exceptional and eight of them terrible, it's, it's a mess because the two that's good, poor them. Nothing would be done when you order stuff. It's just, uh, just a mess. People walking or just walking around. Oh, I'm here over time today because I'm securing the bag. But me telling them myself, I must drop potassium level from Mr. Jones three days. And you telling me I've been on overtime. Well, overtime you ass and draw the potassium. Anyways, I'm about to pack up my groceries and juice. I have them pineapple up on my countertop for, for days now. I think I think they probably are gonna spoil. Or they are it probably mostly spoiled already. Come here, go juice them and pineapple them right now. Oh, I ordered candles. I have a bunch of stuff right here. Did y'all do did, did you guys do any Black Friday shopping? I don't really do Black Friday shopping like that. That I never used to anyways. I did buy a couple of stuff off of Amazon. Um oh I repurchased my lash the lash Kit that I'm doing for myself because they went from $20 to $12 so I just got an, another pack I bought some candles from Bath and Body because you know we know them turtle can we may not be a turtle up in no candle so I wait until they go on sale because I knew I was working the entire weekend I just ordered them online I think I got eight or ten how much we buy oh this is all my stuff from Amazon Oh, do you, you guys, I think a couple vlogs back, I told you guys that my sister told me about this collagen that I should start taking because of my crackling knees. This is the collagen. I'm going to link it down below. It went from $30 to I think $18. And I said, oh, let me check this out right now. So I actually bought one for my sister as well. So we're gonna try this for the entire month and see how it works because yeah sister girl said i need to be doing this every day so yeah that's what i bought i guess a little haul oh child may even know what some about them here i never tried these things before here comes my sister in my comments in three two one about <laughs> listen she gonna roast me now Puffy eyes and dark circles. Have you guys ever used these? Things like these? It was on a true sale. So I'm going to try it. Them claims to say fine lines. I don't know. I still didn't get my money. Anyways, I did 30 minutes of talking, probably. I'm going to put on timestamp telling them if you skip cross. If you don't know how you hear me, I'm going to chat in. If you just go to the next scene. But anyways. Let's juice. We're not showing sure me juicing. We'll just see it multiple times. This is 
so refreshing you guys so i'm gonna drink this now i'm gonna have to clean up the kitchen that's the that's the kitchen my ipad is up there because i'm of course i'm watching 90 day fiance <laughs> I know that's my show at two o'clock now 2 p.m. and I finished juicing put everything away clean up the place and I made I just made my coffee of the day so I'm here trying to open up these candles I just get I got my regular scent that I normally get the mahogany teak wood is one of my favorites and this white gardenia is my favorite but then I Stumble across this one that says tree farm. It smells so good. Definitely burning this for Christmas. Oh, I think maybe I tried that one here too. The per Ugh, the perfect Christmas. I don't like this one. I'm about, I'm about to return this. Yep, I mean I like that smell here. It smells too spicy. This one is under the Christmas tree. Mmm. I guess we can work with that one here. Let me know what Christmas scent you like from Bath and Body. I mean, I like sweetie sweetie. So if it's uh, bubble gum, frosted something, um, what is something they name? Birthday cake. Please don't suggest those. <laughs> don't suggest those. I don't like them. They too sweet. So yeah, let me go make my mask now for my hair. I actually just cut up the avocado. Not the avocado. I cut up the aloe vera and i rubbed the, rub the aloe vera on the edges and everything that's why it's up like this so now i'm just gonna blend the aloe vera and the avocado put the, put the mask on put a plastic bag over my head and just uh, let it stay on until probably because it's two o'clock now really but like when it's there for 24 hours but that's not gonna happen i'm just gonna let it stay on until probably eight o'clock tonight and then wash my hair and twist twist it up let's get rid of these all right, y'all. No, this is making up a guy. You do have some relationships that the guys are the better looking one. You know, like those relationships do happen. But if somebody just that much pretty like. Good morning. I literally had to turn my car facing the opposite way because when I turned my camera on the sun was just setting the sun was sunning okay but it is Tuesday it's quite early well it's 9 20 and I just made it to Target I'm trying to do all my errands early so that I can be home and chill out for the rest of the day i'm at target because i did a target order and i had to do the target order at two different target now this is the first time i'm coming to this target i'm in northville i do come to northville because this is where trader joe's is and i need to go to trader joe's when i realized that they had my item here i'm like yeah i'll just pick it up here and then head to trader joe's so that's the first thing then i have to go to the target near my house to pick up something else because they, they broke up all the things Let's head on in the store. Oh, that's well, it's not a lot of snow, but you can see that it's snow and it's cold. And I'm sure I put on my big north face, but to me, I try to act like me cute. See, long hugs are out. It was busy already, but you know what, though? Target, they were fast because they had a lot they had four people working at the service desk because that surface desk line was so super long let's head to trader joe's you know i realized i was editing my video last night my video that's going to go up tomorrow and i was in my car talking and i have my tripod wrist on top of my dashboard and then i'm editing and i'm thinking what is that noise the thing was vibrating and honestly i did not realize it <laughs> i hope it's not doing it on this if so i'm sorry i'm very sorry let's find trader joe's i swear trader joe's is back that way yep four minutes legit four minutes let's go I am 
back home and it's kind of dark over here but i'm gonna put the tree up in the corner but i'm not gonna decorate it until this weekend i picked up a few things from trader trader joe's i saw some vegetable fried rice mexican style let me show y'all because that's what i'm gonna cook today because i'm not in the bag of cooking so i'm gonna try these out for today i saw this in there i'm gonna try this for myself because it's cauliflower but then for the rest of the folks i'm gonna do this for them i just want the low carb the lower carb option instead of the rice so yeah oh and then i bought these um this hummus garlic i like this i bought the salsa and then of course the avocado i'm about to use this for the first time i'm gonna put it in my celery juice because we just know i'm putting a water alone and look what i found at trader joe's you gonna try this on you look you gonna go try it no why <laughs> 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 the thing that I picked up at Target just now is wait name on your sounding board? No, sound sound board. Sound what? Oh, sound bar. Sound bar. We need a sound bar. I was watching this new show. Oh if you guys have Hulu, I was watching this new show called Black Cake. I think my brother is the one that told us about it first. And I said I don't have Hulu. Then to come to find out if you have t-mobile you can get hulu for free get hulu if you have t-mobile you get hulu for free black cake is a series on hulu it is so good and the best part it was filmed in my hometown portland jamaica man we watching this thing and we just said oh a something that is a this that is a i follow that a this that is a it it just br literally bring a smile on my face and then the funny thing is also one of my uncles that is in jamaica i guess he had gotten a job with the film crew so he was one of them <laughs> he he was so proud he was one of the people that was driving around the main actress he said um in the town and, and such my mom was telling me that the other day but black cake is amazing i said whoever is writing this series they need to get a raise because when i tell you i am on the edge of my seat i am on the edge of my seat with that show so new show alert get hulu black cake let me put up my christmas tree and um oh the sound bar let me tell you all of that i'm gonna tell you why we get the sound bar we were watching the thing and we kept i kept saying i can't hear it properly but for years, O'Neill kept saying, we need like a sound bar on the thing. May I watch down here now? And I said, uh-uh, something, something not sound right. The sound is kind of off. Hear him now. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him a long time. So you need a sound bar. You need something for just, for just sound better. So the man go, finding sound bar. That is what I just went and got. So the next episode of Black Cake, it should sound better, right, babes? With the sound bar. Mm. All right. Oh, this a Rapunzel this who is this Rapunzel good morning <laughs> you guys get into this wig this is a wig that I found on Amazon and when I tell you it matches my hair texture to a he honey okay because of course this part is my hair on the top it look poofy we gonna fix it because I don't know how to braid all the way down. I'm going to my mom's house later. I'm gonna let her braid it down. Today's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mother. Today's her birthday. I'm going over there, I'm gonna put her to work. <laughs> she don't wanna go anywhere. My mom, she said, listen, I can't be bothered with a crowd of people and all that. So we all just gonna be over at her house chilling and stuff. Happy December 1st. It is Vlogmas, but I'm not really doing Vlogmas. I'm doing a little bit more vlogging probably but I'm not doing like a full situation of vlogmas this is just warm water and apple cider vinegar put it in my little Nespresso shot thing oh speaking about that today is December 1st so the advent calendar needs to be pulled out okay I need to pull it out 
I looked at my coffee station and I said, girl, these pumpkins has got to go. It, I, I got it. It got to go. You see the tree is behind me, but nothing is on the tree. Let me just put up the tree. I also put my tree up in the basement on the lights on the tree. It's an old tree. I had to get some lights to wrap around it because the lights that came on the tree stopped working years ago. It's the next day. Yesterday was a lot going on. I ended up going to Hobby Lobby. I went to Target. I went to Kirkland. I'm going to show you all two things that I found at Kirkland. And I normally don't shop in Kirkland because I think that their price is just overpriced. But I went in there yesterday. You know, everything is on sale. Plus uh, 25 or 30% off coupon online, something like that, for the regular price items. I just walked in there because what I was looking for, I didn't find it at Hobby Lobby and such. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys what I have so far as far as decoration go. As you can see, tree still not decorated. I did decorate the tree downstairs last night. Downstairs, I just throw all like my red type stuff up here is more whites and creams i did that last year and i really like that vibe i ended up going to my mom's house yesterday for her birthday we were chilling uh by the time i got back and was trying to clean up the mess that i had left in my house and finish doing the decoration i didn't get to bed until like midnight the husband was downstairs playing music you know when he started playing music his whole DJ vibe, it was loud. I didn't come back on camera. Uh, oh, my mom braided my hair down. So this is the wig. I tried to use the curling iron and the curling wand that I have. But I, I don't think it's the best one. And it's the CHI brand, but it's not the greatest. Now I'm still looking at this box in my kitchen. I have some stuff over there that I pulled out. Let me see the red tote right there. I mean, I gotta say, I had to move because it's not much lighting because the place is so dark right now. I'm about to go pick up my bag as well. I couldn't find a ticket where the people didn't give me to claim my bag. Could not find a ticket that they gave me to claim my bag. And I was searching for the ticket, but I found the ticket. Let me show you what I have so far in decorations and go from there. This is, you probably get saw it when I was making my collagen stuff, but this is what I have on here. I found this little black thing in Kirkland's yesterday. I had this already from last year. I had these already. So just simple in the center. This is what the coffee station is looking like. This is new. I really like this. The bottom part of it is not decorated properly, so that's why I kind of have this. I kind of have this thing hiding it because I can't find a lot more stuff. But I like the new black and um, wood tear. I prefer it than the other one. For a long time, I thought about spray painting the other one. And I probably should have a long time ago. But I was making some coffee. I actually have coffee in here that I made. I'm going to have to just warm it up because I forgot that I didn't drink my celery stuff yet. Let me finish this. Drink my coffee. Well, I'll take my coffee to go. Oh, let me put, oh I didn't even put the wreath, the Christmas wreath on my door. Let me change out the wreath that's on my front door. front, And then put up this new Christmas, put up the Christmas wreath. I totally forgot about that. I'm going to do that too. All right, y'all. p.m. and I have been sleeping on my couch since five o'clock before five I started putting up the decoration on the tree and 
my head i was having such a bad headache oh my head actually i've been having a bad headache all day today i don't know if that's something else Let's put it a little bit closer it just started getting worse like intensely getting worse plus i'm putting up the decorations on the tree i don't even really like how this tree is looking my ribbons is just looking crazy my head still hurt me i'm hungry I need to eat something i did drink some soup and i ate one slice of pizza but i mean i drank the soup way early this morning because i thought i was going to leave my house i ain't left my house all day either no house said i was going to pick up my my bag i did not go pick up my bag i guess the day is done with the day is over <laughs> and i didn't do nothing there's a curls i'm gonna put in a little wig on i sleep out the whole i sit in the top because i just laid on my couch like this i'm gonna end the vlog <laughs> doing nothing <laughs> jeez louise the vlog is gonna be ending right here oh my god we sting right here so i don't know it's just won't let me live. <sighs> Look like somebody punched me right here, so I'll leave on bruise. <laughs> Goodbye. That's Vlogmas Day 1 and 2. Because <laughs> this video is going up tomorrow. It'll be more eventful coming up, hopefully. Alright guys, see you guys on the next video.